Sweden's defense giant Saab has just made a bold statement that could reshape Europe's air power balance. According to CEO Mikael Johansson, Saab is fully prepared to meet the massive demand for its state-of-the-art grip and fighter jets, even if the historic deal with Ukraine for up to 150 aircraft becomes a reality. This announcement comes right after Sweden and Ukraine signed a long-term air defense cooperation agreement, a strategic move that could see 100 to 150 brand new Gripen E-jets exported to Kyiv. If finalized, this wouldn't just be a deal, it would mark Sweden's largest aircraft export in history. Now think about what that really means. A neutral European country, famous for its engineering precision and calm diplomacy, suddenly stepping in to a defining role in one of the most consequential conflicts of our time. This isn't just about business or production capacity, it's about Sweden positioning itself as a central player in European defense. From a strategic lens, this potential agreement is a game-changer for both nations. For Ukraine, it means the hope of achieving real air superiority against Russian jets. For Sweden, it means transforming from a modest arms producer into a frontline contributor to NATO's deterrent strategy even before fully integrating into NATO's operational framework. And when Saab says it can meet the demand, it's not just confidence, it's a subtle signal to global markets that Sweden is ready for a new defense era. In my view, this move isn't purely about production, it's about commitment and credibility. Saab is showing that it's not just building aircraft, it's building trust. Because once a country like Ukraine flies Gripens in active combat and they perform well, that becomes the best advertisement in the world for Swedish aerospace engineering. Saab CEO Mikael Johansson didn't just sound confident, he sounded ready for a challenge. Speaking to Reuters after Saab's third quarter results, Johansson revealed that the company is already ramping up production with the capacity to soon deliver 20 to 30 Gripen jets per year. But here's where it gets interesting. If the Ukraine deal is finalized, Saab is prepared to double that output. That means moving from steady production to a wartime tempo. Now, Johansson didn't disclose the company's current exact production numbers, a smart move considering the strategic sensitivity. But his tone said everything. It's absolutely no impossibility to dramatically increase the pace if we need to. This isn't just a statement, it's a declaration of industrial confidence, something Europe hasn't seen from a non-superpower nation in decades. What Saab is hinting at here is a quiet revolution, the shift from being a regional defense supplier to a continental one. If the Ukraine order comes through, Saab will need to expand its entire manufacturing ecosystem, from engines to avionics, possibly involving new partnerships, automation upgrades, and workforce expansion. This moment feels similar to how the U.S. defense industry transformed during the early Cold War when companies learn to scale at unprecedented speeds under geopolitical pressure. For Saab, doubling production isn't just about numbers, it's about proving that Europe can still build fast, efficient, and combat-ready aircraft without depending on the U.S. defense giants. In my view, Johansson's calm confidence carries a deeper message. Saab isn't reacting to war. It's preparing for a future where European defense independence becomes a necessity, not a choice. And if Ukraine becomes the proving ground for Gripen's performance, Saab could soon find itself leading Europe's next-generation air strategy. Friday's trading session brought a stunning boost to Saab shares, up 6.5% in early trade, pushing the company's year-to-date gains to an eye-watering 124%. This isn't mere luck. The war in Ukraine, coupled with soaring NATO defense spending, has made Saab one of the hottest stocks in the aerospace sector, and the world is taking notice. But Saab isn't stopping its stock performance. CEO Michael Johansson revealed ambitious expansion plans. 
the company is considering new production sites beyond Sweden and Brazil. Partnerships could also emerge in Ukraine itself and possibly across Europe or even in Canada. This is a strategic masterstroke. By diversifying production sites, Saab is preparing for 1. Increased demand from Ukraine and other NATO countries. 2. Supply chain resilience, ensuring jets are delivered even under geopolitical disruption. 3. Global collaboration, integrating local industries to boost efficiency and economic impact. Expanding production to multiple countries isn't just about volume, it's geopolitical insurance. If one facility faces delay due to political or logistical issues, others can step in. And creating partnerships in Ukraine sends a strong signal. This isn't just a transaction, it's active support for the country's defense infrastructure. Saab has been careful to keep the potential Ukraine deal's value under wraps, but recent transactions give us an idea of the scale we're talking about. In the third quarter alone, Saab sold four Gripen jets to Thailand in a deal valued at 5.3 billion Swedish crowns, roughly half a billion dollars. Now imagine scaling that to 100 to 150 aircraft for Ukraine. The financial and strategic magnitude is staggering. But Gripen isn't just about price or numbers. It's a fourth-generation, light, single-engine supersonic fighter jet in service since 1996 and continuously upgraded over the decades. Analysts often highlight it as a solid, cost-efficient alternative to more expensive fifth-generation jets like the F-35. Why? It's fast, agile, and versatile, capable of operating from short or improvised runways. Maintenance is simpler and cheaper, reducing the logistical burden on nations like Ukraine. Interoperability with NATO systems makes it strategically relevant without massive additional infrastructure. Saab isn't just relying on one-time deals. The company recently raised its full-year sales growth forecast to 20 to 24 percent, up from the July estimate of 16 to 20 percent, signaling confidence in strong military demand and NATO spending increases. This growth isn't accidental. Saab's portfolio of missiles, advanced electronics, and submarines complements its fighter jets, creating a robust, resilient revenue ecosystem. From my perspective, Gripen's appeal lies in practicality over prestige. It's not about flashy stealth, it's about delivering reliable air power affordably. If Ukraine acquires these jets, it could transform its air capabilities dramatically, while Saab solidifies its position as Europe's most adaptable aerospace manufacturer. Behind every Gripen fighter jet is not just engineering excellence, it's a story of strategy, financial precision, and foresight. CEO Mikhail Johansson summed it up clearly. We have a nice order backlog, deliveries are going well, and our profitability continues to develop in the right direction. Saab's numbers speak volumes. 16 billion Swedish crowns in new orders after the third quarter closed. 20.9 billion crowns in bookings during the quarter itself. Order backlog at a massive 202.4 billion crowns. That backlog isn't just paper, it's a testament to trust and reliability. Nations aren't just buying jets, they're investing in Saab's ability to deliver, innovate, and maintain air superiority. Operating Profit Snapshot Saab's operating profit jumped 16% year-on-year, reaching 1.37 billion crowns, $145.5 million, nearly in line with analyst forecasts. Even more impressive, organic sales growth of 18%, reflecting true market demand rather than one-off gains. This level of financial stability allows Saab to expand production, invest in R&D, and pursue new global partnerships. With a backlog equivalent to four years of production at current rates, Saab isn't just responding to current demand, it's future-proofing Europe's fighter jet supply chain. What strikes me most is Saab's balance between growth and sustainability.
Many defense companies might overextend in wartime demand spikes. Saab, however, is strategically scaling, ensuring that increased production doesn't compromise quality or innovation. In short, Saab isn't just building jets, it's building a legacy. A company ready to redefine European air power for decades to come. If you love aviation insights and breaking defense news, subscribe to Viper Jet Wings and soar with us.